I'm working at the moment on the COVID realities project. This is a project funded by the Nuffield Foundation as part of their kind of rapid response um, funding call to COVID-19. What we're trying to do um, with the COVID realities project is we're trying to bring together like a range of different types of evidence to understand how families living in poverty are kind of experiencing and responding to the crisis. And to help us do that, we've drawn together different kind of ways of working. So the first bit that we're doing is very much kind of trying to generate real-time data. And that's working with project partner Child Poverty Action Group. And so what we're doing with that is we're working with their... Um, they've got a kind of um, database of contact with welfare rights advisors so they're working very much on the front line seeing how the social security system responds to COVID-19 so we're working with them to look at kind of analysing that data set and seeing you know how how well is the social security system kind of holding up to the crisis and that's been really exciting and important and felt giving us a kind of really quick um, insight into the social security response that we've been able to share directly with policymakers. Secondly um, we've got a really kind of ambitious programme of participation research and that's trying to work directly with parents and carers who are living on a low income to kind of document and understand their experiences but also to work with parents and carers so they themselves can be part of discussions about the policy making response and so what's needed and why also like we kind of said we do quite a lot of <laughs> <laughs> like a little bit foolish but um the other thing that we're doing is we're looking at aggregating existing research on poverty so at the outset of the crisis there were lots of kind of um research projects going on across the uk with a focus on poverty but they obviously quickly had to kind of adapt and retool and rethink about how they were both going to research but also how their focus might shift a bit during the crisis and so what we've done is we brought together a network of 15 research projects to work together and look at synthesizing their findings but also looking at how they the methodological decisions they have to make. Thank you.